The hour of 7.30 has arrived. I'd like to call to order this uh, business meeting of District 116 for August 23rd, 2016. Roll call, please. Member Carter. Here. Member Hall. Here. Member Patton. Here. Member Pulaski. Here. Member Fisher is here. Vice President Rollins. Here. Gay, and President Demet. Here. Quorum is present. Do we have any additions, corrections, or modifications to the agenda? This no. Uh, hearing none, a um, uh, motion to approve the agenda would be in order. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion is carried. Uh, we have no executive session after this evening's uh, meeting. Uh, it's time for citizen comments. If there's any citizen that wishes to address the board, please step forward. Uh, provide a goldenrod sheet to our recording secretary. Uh, and we'll take advantage of this time to recognize Joey Wright, who's back with us again for another year. Yay. to uh, televise hey, Joey. Uh, our, our meetings and make sure the folks at home can watch us. I see no one from the public coming forward, and so we'll move on. Commendations and recognitions, none. Public hearing, no. Communications, no. We do have a reports committee. Reports, not a committee. Uh, uh, and our first report is on the facilities committee charge. Yeah, so I took uh, comments from the last time we discussed this, um, and I wanted to put it back in front of you right away because, uh, as I said, we have a goal to get this started in September and so I want to have one more time to discuss the charge and then uh, I'm going to ask you to approve the charge um, at September and I'm going to start advertising for members for this committee as soon as we get the charge approved. So basically a couple things that I did, um, one of the discussions that we had was making sure that uh, the concept of infrastructure and, and specifically technology infrastructure was included in mm -hmm. this comprehensive plan and so I just added that um, word in the um, I guess third sentence as I'm counting the plan should address capital and infrastructure needs of all UST 116 programs and buildings um, and then um, we had some discussion about the specific questions in addition to providing a comprehensive long-term plan and so the, the questions as, as they stand now, I think capture the majority of the discussion. So um, what is the best use of space north of Urbana High School bounded by Iowa Race, Washington, Broadway? And what are options or solutions for the relocation of central office and adult education building? And then is Urbana served, well served by the number and location of our elementary schools? And if not, what are possible solutions? Mm -hmm. So I'm opening it up for discussion. I will continue to take notes. Okay, Paul. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about this over the weekend, and I was wondering if we should also add to the third question, size. Fourth. Fourth well, bullet point. The, the third question. The third bullet point. Mm -hmm. Oh. In oh. there oh. is the is size. right because I I think the question of whether or not we should have two strand elementary schools or three strand elementary schools should be considered by this committee. Mm-hmm. Board members okay with that uh, suggested alteration? Mm -hmm. Yes, good, All right. good idea. Yeah. Any further comments about the uh, proposed charge? Okay, this would be on our next uh, agenda, uh, which would be the meeting right after Labor Day for action. Okay. Which would be the 6th? 6th. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ready to go. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Next on our agenda are, uh, is our consent uh, agenda for our action items. And on this evening's consent agenda are the minutes of the uh, June 21st, uh, July mm -hmm. business meeting, the special meeting on July 25th, and the study session on August the 9th. We have June bills and checks. Uh, education fund in the amount of 442,000, O&M in the amount of 113,000, bond and interest fund in the amount of uh, 999,000, transportation in the amount of 181,000, working cash bonds $33.20 to be exact, school facilities occupation tax 23,000, uh, tort in the amount of 11,000 and payroll in the amount of 3.6 million. Also July bills and checks. Um, and, and that payroll is a little extra large because it constitutes the end of the year. <laughs> July bills and checks, education fund bills in the amount of 772000 O&M in the amount of 405000 transportation 33000 uh, capital project working cash bonds 21000 
uh, our sales tax in the amount of uh, 546,000, tort 255,000, life safety uh, one, 1,000, and payroll uh, are more reasonable 2.5 million and adult education for both June and July in the amount of 132,000. No interfund loans tonight, there are various personnel items. A lot of it is uh, just uh, cleaning up the end of school year uh, departures and the new hires. Re and then 1105 is resolution authorizing and directing sale or disposal of personal property. Uh, and that is the consent agenda. Is there, a mo is there any desire to remove any of those items? Is there a motion to approve? Move approval of the consent agenda. Second. Moved and seconded. Roll call, please. Member Carter? Yes. Member Paul? Yes. Member Patton? Yes. Member Pulaski? Yes. Member Fisher votes yes. Vice President Rawlins, yes. Gay, and President Demich? Yes. Motion is carried. For individual action items, we have gifts tonight. The Elementary, elementary Fine Arts Trust Fund uh, received an anonymous donation of uh, just under $1,500. Uh, to fund two art projects, uh, Opera for the Young and Storytelling Through Public Art. Minji Kim of Champaign donated $250 to Adult Ed. Uh, Jean Burkholder, who is now uh, residing in Bloomington, it looks like, donated $750 to the Adult Education CNA program. Mm. Deb Getting of Red Cross in Urbana donated school supplies and backpacks worth $200. And Dave Wishart and Josephine Wilson of Yellow Springs, Iowa, donated $500 Ohio. to the... What did I say? Yellow Springs. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Ohio, Yellow Springs, Ohio, donated $500 to the Josh Gottheil Music Award Fund uh, in memory of uh, Josh's father, Fred. Um, motion to approve, to accept, and uh, the gifts and send thank you notes. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion is carried. 12.02, .02, resolution authorizing and directing the sale of public sale of certain property and this is with our old Washington school at 1102 North Broadway um, Don yeah I, I just want to um, mention that this is uh, something that we have had out for sale before we had no responsive bids at that time um, the administrative team has had discussions with uh, both parties who put in non-responsive bids as well as parties who did not put in bids to find out why it did not um, receive bids, and we tried to address many of those issues. And the, and the biggest issue seemed to be the time frame that was in our previous resolution. And that was a 90-day um, closing date uh, after the uh, bid opening. And so what we've done is we've recrafted this um, this uh, resolution and um, and sale documents to indicate that there's more flexibility in that. Um, there's possibilities for an individual to essentially uh, go out up to a year and possibly even longer mm -hmm. if necessary um, as long as they're providing some compensation to the district for operating expenses for the building mm -hmm. during that time. Um, the reserve price or the minimum bid is still set at $450,000. Uh, we did quite a bit of research on that and that still seems to be um, a price that uh, we're favor hoping to get we're, we're mm -hmm. fairly confident we can get so um, we've addressed the concerns and uh, had discussions with the board and this is um, this is what we're looking at we're uh, we'll put this in the news gazette starting next Sunday uh, for three consecutive weeks and then mm -hmm. the um, bid opening and the, the deadline for the bids is uh, 10 a.m. on September 16th so you will be seeing this back in front of you, hopefully, um, with approval to move forward on the uh, 20th of September at the business meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is very similar to the action that we took before mm -hmm. with just the more flexibility in the closing time. Uh, is there a motion to approve the administrative recommendation? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Further discussion? this require roll call? I think we did, yeah. Okay, roll call vote, please. Member Carter? Yes. Member Hall? Yes. Member Patton? Yes. Member Plosky? Yes. Member Fisher votes yes. Vice President Rollins yes. Gay and President mm -hmm. Demick? Yes. Motion. Motion is carried. Um, the, uh, we do have a call for a future uh, special 
meeting. It, it's it's actually uh, our regular study session, which would be on uh, September 6th, but it's a change in location. Mm -hmm. We'll be meeting in the Commons uh, at the at uh, the high school uh, that evening on the 6th. Same time, or are we meeting a little early for supper? No. Uh, uh, and, uh, well, we'll be serving. Maybe we'll be there. Um, we you, do. We buying, do. John? We do plan to have um, Airmark do a presentation, and they have agreed to provide um, food off their new menus. And so, um, we're we're planning on starting the meeting at 7:30. Uh, how about we do this? If if we're not going to take any um, formal uh, board work, we might have you meet at seven o'clock. We'll we'll confirm that with Airmark, um, so that eating can take place first. As long as there's no discussion about the uh, the food or the uh, commons until we actually go into open session. All right. Okay. Can you do that? Okay. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. All right. So we'll we'll confirm that. We'll confirm that and uh, make sure that that's. Um, should, should be should be a good time. Um, yeah. I need to. I have I have pictures on my phone. I went there last Friday just to see how things were going, and uh, um, and I've subsequent to that gotten a lot of reports from students that uh, uh, that project is being extremely well received. Cool. And, uh, Not surprised. So we'll those of you that still have kids in school uh, in high school maybe are getting different no, feedback on the quality hurt. of food, but I'm hearing great things great things about it. I'm so. hearing good things about both the project and the quality of food so yeah. we're, we're looking forward to that meeting um, to show it off both things. All right we go into uh, superintendent's report. Yeah so superintendent's report um, I have in front of you just a few quick things first of all uh, the school year started off uh, with a great opening day uh, celebration we kicked it off with the marching band as we has kind of become a tradition over the last couple of years mm. and then we uh, closed the morning kind of celebration with uh, VCR, which is the high school a cappella group who mm -hmm. performed for you last year. Uh, I think that that will probably also become a tradition with mm. how big a hit it was um, based on the, uh, the feedback from the day's uh, evaluations. Mm. Um, our numbers do appear to be, oh, uh, both the high school and middle school started on Thursday with uh, transition days um, for sixth and ninth graders and their parents, and that went very well. Um, I, I sat in, the high, the high school had their open house um, on Thursday night, uh, very well attended, and the middle school actually had a parent orientation during the school day while the sixth graders were going through their orientation, and that was also very well attended. Hmm. And so it was, um, it was fun to see both the sixth grade students and their parents in the building on that first day of school. Um, our numbers do appear to be up, but I'm going to save that for um, the next meeting. Uh, Dr. Ivory Tatum will do the regular six-day enrollment report um, because numbers are fluctuating mm. as we speak. Mm. We're getting mm. new people signing up, and mm. um, we, we always like to make sure that we give everyone a few days in before we start talking about real numbers. And so we'll, uh, we'll do that as, a, as an administrative report at the next meeting. Um, open houses and back-to-school nights have been very well attended as well. And um, there are a few more this week and next week. I believe middle school is on Thursday, and Wiley, I think, is next um, Wednesday. It's either Wednesday or Thursday of next week for Wiley. Um, Urbana High School is also holding neighborhood meetings at each of the elementary schools, as well as two community centers. And Mr. Stark's goal there is to talk to parents and families about what UHS offers and how parents can engage with their students' education during high school years. Um, so we're very excited to see um, how, that, how that initiative at uh, parent engagement works. Uh, next up is the Urbana Sweet Corn Festival is this weekend. That to me, um, as a teacher, always was my favorite event because I get, got to test my ability to name my new students in the class as they said hi to me um, during the Sweet Corn Festival. And, uh, but now it's become my favorite event because at 5 p.m. on Saturday, uh, the high school marching band will be playing along with Central and Centennial um, as part of the, uh, the music to kick off Saturday night. And so uh, please show up for that. You'll also see many of our UHS athletes who are volunteering during the event. Uh, I don't know what the color of the volunteer shirts are this year. Usually yellow to, because of corn, but 
Yeah. Sometimes lime green. Sometimes lime yeah. green. Yep. Yeah. Um, Something bright. So, and there's also uh, lots of other food yeah. and um, lots of music and, of course, a lot of corn. So please mm -hmm. come out for that. Some of um, our booster clubs actually have booths there, too. Yeah, they, they have in the past. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if our boosters are going to be um, going to be representing or not. No? Lori's on the uh, Urbana Business Association oh. board. Um, so I think you can speak with authority on that. Um, but, but we will have lots of student participation. Um, and then also, uh, sticking with the theme of marching uh, musicians, mm -hmm. the marching line I will be performing at the first Urbana High School home football game yeah. on Friday, September 2nd. Uh, that game, the Tigers will be playing Centennial, so it's always a full house anyway. Mm -hmm. But then when we have uh, about 375 marching Illini joining us along mm -hmm. with their fan base, um, it will be a full and fun night. Um, they will be kicking things off with our marching Tigers, and then they will, the marching Illini will also be performing at halftime. Uh, the one thing I didn't write down, but I will make sure it goes in my written report that I put out on, uh, on my blog, is that um, one of the drum majors for the marching Illini is uh, Urbana High School graduate, Jordi Pecky Rodriguez. And so oh, it's going to yeah. be awesome to have him kind uh -huh. of coming home to the first home football game. And uh, maybe he will cool. throw up the U and twirl the uh there's usually, the there's usually several Urbana students in the marching Illini, too. So. There are. And I know that uh, there were a number of freshmen who were trying out. I believe last year we had mm. five that I was aware of. Um, but uh, Jordy's obviously the one that has, uh, is going to be the most visible um, and recognizable. And he's not the first Urbana student that's been a uh, drum major. Right. That's right. There's been several. Roxanne yep. Barnes. Yep. There's been several. Maybe. Mm. And Roxanne Barnes has moved back to town, so maybe we can uh, extend her a special invitation yeah. to come out. Yeah. Um, the Walk is One event is yeah. the, the last thing on the list here is um, the Community Coalition and the Champaign-Urbana Cradle to Career are teaming up to conduct a community walk through parts of Urbana and Champaign. The purpose of this walk is to talk to parents of three, four, and five-year-olds about the importance of social-emotional development. Uh, the message to parents is that it is vitally important to read, talk, and play every day um, with your child. And the Walk is One event will take place on Tuesday, September 13th from 5 to 7 p.m. I hope that board members can attend. Mm -hmm. And um, Tuesday, September 13th. Yeah. So it's in between our two meetings mm -hmm. um, for oh, September. September yes. Tuesday the 13th. And um, the uh, Urbana side of the walk will use Dr. Preston Williams as our starting place and headquarters. Mm -hmm. um, and to sign up to participate, uh, they are asking you to register. And I put the website on there. And I'll send the link around so that you can just click on it in yeah. an email. So um, Yes, Garden, Garden Hills. Hills. They're going to Garden yeah, Hills. so that because Cradle to Career is kind of leading this uh, leading this effort, um, they asked the school districts to pick um, to pick two or three neighborhoods to hit in each school district. And because of the high concentration of three, four, and five year olds mm. uh, in and around the Dr. Williams neighborhood, um, that's that's going to be our headquarters. And so we will have enough volunteers to hit several neighborhoods there. We have a lot. We, we are actually only going to be going to houses that have three, four, and five year olds. Oh, okay. So, are we green too? I do not know. Are we? Yeah. 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 And then, our, uh, just a reminder to everyone is that um, if you miss our meetings live or on UPTV, you can always catch them on our YouTube channel. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, they're getting lots of hits. And that's it for my superintendent's report. Uh, Lori, do you want to talk about the FOIAs there? We're, we're doing the FOIAs a little differently. You want me to talk about the FOIAs? OK. Um, so we're, we're uh, instead of just listing the number of FOIAs, um, we are putting the, uh, the FOIA requester in, as well as we, the board's been asking about what the FOIAs are about. So um, we're just putting that on our, uh, on our agendas. Um, first FOIA was from Chris Baird. Uh, completed 7 12 16. It's all contracts between the school district and the owner of 110 West Iowa, Urbana, Illinois. Uh, the next one was Labor's Local 703, completed on 7 27 16. It's a list of all projects awarded to Illinois Concrete Raising. 
and then One Chance Illinois, which was completed on 17, 2016, any and all information about acceleration policies and procedures. And that's it. All right, any questions of Don? Could I ask you about, I mean, it's not on your report, I thought it might be, but about you know, our ambitious um, aim to hire seven PE teachers in a short period of time, how, how that went? Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Um, um, Dr. Ivory Tatum talked a little bit about this at the last meeting, but um, do you wanna, Jennifer, do you wanna talk a little bit about how things went? Because they started, most of them started schedules uh -huh. uh, today. I think there was just one school that was still they still working on that but so um Jean Quarter and I had well you know they were mostly they were all at opening day except one where is it okay all right, he resigned no, from his district on Monday and so he wasn't able to be with us on Tuesday but all the others were there for opening day and we're at the building day in services on Wednesday um, Thursday and Friday they spent the day with Jean Quarter and I working on progress report looking at the progress reports curriculum um, going through their closets trying to get set up a little bit um, we spent a lot of time talking about the first few units that they were going to be teaching so we planned out the whole quarter um, and everyone is very consistently kind of teaching the same um, standards and lessons okay. um, they drafted a letter about PE expectations wow. that we're sending out district-wide because this is going to be very new for all of our elementary families things like wearing having a pair of gym shoes at school and mm -hmm. not you know girls not wearing flip-flops and mm -hmm. open toe sandals and their fancy mary jane church shoes to the gym yeah. and yeah. <laughs> having shorts on under their dresses uh, and uh -huh. um those kind of things that we thought parents would need nice reminders about because it's probably been a long time since they've had pe and we've they've not experienced elementary pe so they um sent out an introductory letter that mm -hmm was kind of introducing them district-wide. Um, we'd already been working on schedules, so it was nice mm -hmm. to just be, we, I kind of had a team that helped pull together mm -hmm. schedules, so we really just handed them schedules that were already done, so wow. they didn't have to worry about that part of it. Um, and they all started seeing kids Monday, except for the two PE teachers at Dr. Williams. They'll start tomorrow. Okay. Wow, it's impressive. In less than yeah. a month's time, we've hired seven quality, you yeah. know, Seven high quality. Their names are on the. Per, they're listed in the personnel oh, okay. as well. Yeah. All right. Yes. So you can see that. who they are. Okay. Were well, they identified as yeah. okay? Yes. Yes. I did yes. glance yes. at that. Yes. Somehow yes. I didn't graduates. make a connection. All right. Yeah. Uh, so. None of them are former graduates. No, none of correct. them are former Urbana. Okay. Yeah. Lot, we have a very well rep represented by the military. Four of the six. Really. Are wow. from different That's branches cool. of the military. So. Oh, yeah, that was exciting. So we have new people to help us plan those veteran day assemblies in the buildings. <laughs> I've teased all of them about that and they're excited. Huh, okay. All right, any board Thank reports you. this evening? Thank you. Yeah. I'm just curious how the gridiron day when I see Mr. Starks is here. Uh, was that a good turnout or yeah, did gridiron, you get done? Yes, I did. Uh, gridiron was, uh, was a very good turnout actually and it was a very nice night. It was a gorgeous night for for football and um, the the teams um, had a good time. The the varsity looked very strong and the JV. I talked to a couple of the students afterwards, uh, the student athletes afterwards, and they were a little disappointed in their performance on the JV side. Um, and and they all said, "These are the things that we have to work on." So I thought that was a really good attitude that they yeah. came off the field saying, "This is what we're going to learn." Um, but the uh, uh, the varsity looked really good. Their first um, first they, game they is have this a very challenging. Yeah, they have a very years. very challenging schedule. Um, mm -hmm. Their first game is actually away at Normal Community this Friday, mm -hmm. um, and then again their home first home game is on the second uh, against Centennial. So um, it'll it'll be it'll be a good time. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe um, maybe this would be a good time then to bring up the fact that uh, we do have season tickets. Um, available and and honestly if you buy a season pass it's cheaper to buy a season pass and get a good seat with a back mm -hmm. uh, uh, on it uh, than it is to pay the individual fee to come in so I know there's some marching band parents here this evening and really I mean I marching band parents are there every time now they yeah. may leave right after halftime but um, <laughs> they could they could save themselves a lot of money if they'd uh, purchase the season passes so we could fill up that center section it would sure be nice mm -hmm. 
John, I do have something for the board with the IASB, the Illini Division meeting is September 27th, so yeah. if you wish to attend, please let me know, and I'll get you registered. Okay. I think we're going to. Yep. Other board reports this evening. Motion to adjourn would be in order. So moved. All in favor, I, I, we've heard the motion in the second. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Motion's carried. We're adjourned. <laughs>